Hello and uh, welcome to Tech Talk with Chad and uh, in this little episode here we're going to be um, doing some Windows XP professional um, command prompt tricks here uh, that you can do. Maybe you're for like, you know, at school or whatever and you just want to have some fun and mess around. Um, a note, um, whatever you do, if you do this at school or whatever and you know, if you get in trouble or something gets messed up, it's not my fault. I'm not responsible for this, so if you want to do this, do it at your own risk. And uh, also, this new and improved, uh, well, possibly improved audio is brought to you by my new Microsoft Life Chat LX2000 um, uh, headset here. So um, I'm just gonna, you know, test play around with this cool new headset. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so um, let's get command prompt here. So what you want to do is you want to um, go into Start Menu and open up Notepad. Let's get your little notepad document going on here. Uh, let's resize this quickly. Okay, now you want to type in um, go off and do command dot com pause. See if this as um whatever you want must um. Go to save as type down here, and uh, save it in all files. Then put your name here, like I'm gonna name it um, uh, CMD. Then do b dot d b a t, and the dot b a t is essential for this to work. So you do that, save it, and then you get your cm your CMD thing up here. Let's double click that. And there you go. You have a working um, command prompt here. And now we're ready to do our code things. So um, the first code is to make a new account. So if you're going to be doing all this at school, um, you know the school people they can monitor what you're doing on your computer. So if you do anything, you know, really retarded, they will track you down and you know get you in trouble. So you want to be anonymous on this. So you want to make your own little new account. So what you do is you go net. Whoops. Type in net user and then make up your own name. So I'm going to go um, and then you slash add and this will add a new account. So now you have your account and I just hacks her. Um, and, but this account is useless unless you have administrator privileges. So what you do want to do is you want to do net local group. Um, administrator, and then um, you want to do your name, and then slash add. Whoops. Okay. Now you might get this. Specify the loca local group does not exist. If that happens, and you typed in your administrator thing wrong. Because uh, sometimes your name administrators or just admin, so you just want to play around with this. I'm just gonna play around here, cause you know I'm just doing this from the lo top of my head. Um. There we go. So my is named administrators with a capital A. So. Um, it just, you know, did the command complete successfully. There, you're in. Um, and now with administrators, you know, you're, you're ready. But let's say you don't want to make your own administrator account. Let's say you want to, uh, let's say you, you, you don't like the administrator of your school. You don't like them. And you want to change his password so they can't log on. Or, you can, um, change anyone's password this way. So what you can do is just do net user. Uh, let's say, uh, let's do, um, and then you type in the star, an asterisk, and this will change your password, or type a password to the user, I'll say a password, and it'll write in invisible ink here, um, and then, there. There, so now you've changed the password. You can do this to anyone. So it's pretty cool. Um, also, now let's say you want to delete, delete your account. 
because you don't want this account anymore. You you want to you know erase your tracks here. You just do a net user. And there, my account, my hacker account, is gone. Um, there. So that's pretty much all the little tips I have for you. Um, if I figure out any more little, little cool tips. Um, oh, there's one more tip. Let's say your internet is blocked on your computer. You want to go to a site like YouTube or something, or Facebook, or MySpace, and it's blocked. Well, this is the easiest way to do this. So you want to do just ping. Whoops. Ping. And then, um, let's say, YouTube.com. Hmm. Could not find host. Do ping, um, ping YouTube.com. There. It's ping, pinging YouTube.com. Um, and it's showing, you know, the IP address of it. It's showing, uh, you know, all your IP stuff. So now, what you want to do with this IP address it gives you, you want to put that in your browser, um, preceded by HTTP, and it will, it should, send you to your um, website. It'll just block it right away because you put that um, thing in there. It'll work for pretty much every single blocker out there, unless you have one of those really sophisticated blockers. Um, so yeah, that's just you know these cool um, command command prompt tricks that you can do at school uh, or to amaze your friends or whatever and just you know have some fun in your spare time. Um, we can also do this, you know, other things. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it for this video, and uh, bye.